as an introduction to volume 24 of the Play Along Book and Record Sets album. As an introduction to volume 24 of the Play Along Book and Record Sets, I would like to demonstrate several exercises for you. The first three exercises I play on my saxophone will be based on the B flat concert major scale. I'll be playing the scale from the root up to the ninth and back down. The root is also called the first note of the scale, or it can be called the tonic. The ninth is the same as the second note of the scale, but it is up one octave. I'll play the scale up and down, beginning and ending on the tonic. I'll begin with whole notes, then half notes, then quarter notes. Pay particular attention to each note of the scale as it is played and how it sounds with the recorded background. By this I mean, the root has a certain sound when it's played against the piano and bass background. That makes it distinctive. The second note of the scale will have a particular sound as will the third, fourth, fifth, and all the other tones of the scale. It is a good idea to get the sound of each note in your head while you practice these exercises because when you improvise, you will reach the point where there will be certain sounds and certain notes that you want to play. And if you don't know what notes they are, or where they are on your instrument, you won't be able to play them. Listen carefully while you play. The next exercise is called thirds. I'll begin with half notes, then quarter notes, then eighth notes. Strive for a full sound on each tone if you are playing a wind instrument. Play smoothly and slur from note to note. If you are a keyboard player or you play a string instrument, try to play legato very smoothly. The next exercise I play will be diatonic triads, ascending and descending. First I'll play them in quarter notes and then in eighth notes. On this exercise I will vary the rhythm so as to add variety. You may do the same.
I'll play a three note exercise in quarter notes, eighth notes, and notes. At times, I will vary the rhythmic pattern, and you can do the same thing. Any exercise you play can and should be practiced in minor as well as major keys. Exercises can also be practiced in Dama 7 keys with volume 21, getting it together. The exercises I've played so far were played fairly straight. No vibrato, very few articulations, and little rhythmic variety. I did play with a good time feel and a full round sound. If you play a wind instrument, be sure to support the tone, even though you are only playing an exercise. This is even more important when you improvise. In the following examples, I will demonstrate some jazz phrases. In so doing, I will use a variety of articulations and rhythms, occasional vibrato, and dynamics. Improvise solo on the B-flat major scale. Improvise solo over C major concert key with special emphasis on the C blues scale and use of chromaticism, swing feel. <laughs>
improvised solo in the key of B-flat minor, Dorian Minor. scale. Thank you. 